In this video, we're going to learn a simple vocabulary term, and we're going to graph a nice equation, this equation right here. y equals 4 minus x squared. Here's the vocabulary term we're going to learn. <clears throat> the point or ordered pair, 0 comma 4, satisfies this equation because when we plug in x equals 0 and y equals 4, we obtain the truth. It is actually an equation. You can easily see that when x is a 0, the right-hand side just becomes 4. And when the left-hand side is 4, y is a 4, we get 4 equals 4. So that one's pretty easy to, to verify. Now, the question is right now, the quick question, does either one of those ordered pairs also satisfy the equation? I think I'm going to look at 0, 0 first because that one's easy to tell. If you replace x and y with a 0, both of them with 0, you get 0 equals 4 minus 0 squared. That would be 0 equals 4. That's absolutely false. So this one does not satisfy the equation. <clears throat> All right, let's look at 3 comma negative 5. Let's see, if y is a negative 5, is that equal, I'm going to put a question mark above the equal sign, is negative 5 equal to 4 minus x is 3 squared. Let's see, that left-hand side is negative 5. The right-hand side is 4 minus 3 squared is 9. 4 minus 9 is negative 5. So that one works. Negative 5 is equal to negative 5. So clearly, 3 comma negative 5 does satisfy the equation. <clears throat> All right, well, we're going to use what's called the point plotting method to graph this equation. And that basically means you make a table of points or ordered pairs. You plot those points. And once you're done, you draw a nice smooth curve through all of the ordered pairs, through all those points. I did the first one for us. We're, we're choosing the points, the integer values, from x equals negative 3 to x equals positive 3. So I made a table of those values here. I want to get the, what, the corresponding y value to each one of these numbers. And I did the first one for us. Negative 3 is, is the x value. So y is going to equal 4 minus negative 3 squared. And you really should make sure you write the negative 3 in parentheses when you're replacing x with the negative 3. So 4 minus negative 3 squared is 4 minus 9, and that's equal to negative 5. So I'm going to take that number and that number, and we get an ordered pair, negative 3, negative 5. <clears throat> All right, now let's do the same thing with negative 2. x is negative 2, so y is going to be 4 minus negative 2 squared. 4 minus negative 2 squared. 4 minus negative 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So negative 2, 0. That's our second pair. Negative 1 for x. 4 minus negative 1 squared. 4 minus 1, because negative 1 squared is 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. So negative 1 comma 3. Plugging in a 0, that should be easy. 4 minus 0 squared. That's 4. 0 comma 4. Now 1. We get 4 minus 1 squared. 1 squared is 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. I didn't put the 1 in parentheses. I just wrote 1 squared because n when you have negative 1, it's, n it's, not, it's very important that you put the parentheses. It's not negative 1 squared. Up here it is negative 1 squared. So we get the same value as we got with negative 1 because when you square, um, when you square negative 1 or 1, you get the same value. So 4 minus 1 is a 3, so 1 comma 3. Plug in a 2, I get 4 minus 2 squared. That is a 0. Shouldn't be a surprise because we already computed 4 minus negative 2 squared is 0 as well. Negative 2 squared and 2 squared is the same number. 
It's four in both of those cases. So four minus four is a zero. Two comma zero. Last number is three. Four minus three squared. Four minus nine, negative five. So that gives us a three comma negative five. All right, we produced a table with seven ordered pairs. I'm gonna plot each one of them and then we'll draw a smooth curve through all the points. So the first one's negative three, negative five. So I have to go negative three, negative five. Here's the origin, so I have to go left three, and then down five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Actually, let me go, the, I did the top one, let's do the bottom one, you'll see why. I did negative three, negative five, now I have to go three, negative five. One, two, three, negative five, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now the next two, we've done this one, and we've done this one. Now I'm going to do negative two zero and two zero. Negative two zero means go left two and go up zero. So that's on the x-axis. And then that's, that's negative two zero. Two zero would put us right there. All right. That took care of this and this. And then we have negative one three as well as one three. So negative one up three, positive one up three. Puts us right there. And then the last point, the only one we have not done yet is zero comma four. I'll go ahead and mark it off. And we'll put zero, means go left or right zero, and then go up four, one, two, three, four. All right, so we've got a nice uh, set of seven points. And we're now going to draw a nice smooth curve through them. And you may already know what this graph is called. But in, in, the, in the next chapter, we'll learn all about these, which is called, this is called a parabola. And this is the, the parabola is the graph of this equation.